Hello everyone! So I'm trying something a little different today, which I will tell you all about in just a second. I've teamed up with Pilot Nordic once again and they sent me these Pilot Pinter Pens, which is a totally brand new product that they are really excited about. And I'm excited about it since I just love to try out new art supplies. So the Pilot Pinter or Pintor is a paint marker with water-based opaque ink that works on many different surfaces like glass, metal, wood, fabric, plastic and ceramic and so on, and on lighter and darker surfaces. So I have collected a couple of things here to try these pens on and I thought it would be fun to try decorating some of my boring unfinished sketchbooks and a pot and a glass jar with a metal lid just to try out some different materials and I will also try to make art on a wooden board so stay tuned for that. The Pinter Pens comes in 24 different colors. I only have 21 here though since they are still brand new and Pilot Nordic only had these colors to send me at the moment. They also come in two different sizes, one with a fine tip and one with a medium tip. And if you head over to my Instagram account, you can join the little giveaway where 5 people can win a Pinter pen. Also, thank you Pilot Nordic for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel, I truly appreciate that. Here is how the colors looks on both lighter and darker background. I love how these pens look on paper, they are very opaque and I like the solid matte finish. They dry fast and are light and water resistant. I have 4 sketchbooks here with plain boring covers, so let's make them a little more interesting. The first sketchbook has a bit of a shiny surface, so the ink doesn't dry immediately, which gives me a little more time to play around with it before it dries, so I grabbed a rubber glove and then I smudged around the ink on the cover with my finger and created this soft, cloudy, colorful mess that actually looks quite pretty, and it was really fun and relaxing to make, just smudging the paint around. Then I grabbed the gold pen and added these pedal-like patterns. The gold really stands out and looks great on the softer colors. For the yellow sketchbook I'm trying to put down more flat colors and I'm really amazed by how covering the pens are even on this bright yellow surface. The only problem I had was that the cover was very shiny so the paint didn't dry immediately and it smudged a lot which I didn't want in this case. So make sure that you don't put your hands in the ink before it dries obviously but I did it in some spots but I love the result and the solid pastel colors.
for the third one. I'm trying the pens on toned paper and now I'm doing something more simple and relaxing. I could do this pattern all day, it was a lot of fun and I really recommend it for more stressful days when you need to rest your brain a little. The last one is a very small book and I made this super super simple just to show you that it doesn't always need to be advanced to look pretty. So there you have them, I love how they turned out and they definitely feel more inviting and personal now than before. There are so many things that you can do with your sketchbooks to make them more interesting. So if you decide to pimp your own sketchbooks, I would love to see what you make, so share it with me on social media like Twitter and Instagram. So let's try these pens on other materials as well, like this glass jar for example. It is quite challenging to draw on curved surfaces like this and film it properly. So, do you recognize this cat? I'm sure most of you do. These pens stick on most surfaces, but I noticed that on more shiny materials like glass, they are quite easy to scratch off again even after they dried, but you can make the ink permanent on glass, ceramic and fabric if you heat it up. You can use an iron for fabric, and for glass and ceramic you can put the item in the oven in 160 degrees celsius and the ink will become permanent. Just make sure that the item is in the oven while is heating up. Not perfect, but still cute. This can be a nice pen jar. I wanted to try this on ceramic too, so I made something super simple with this pot here. I'm really surprised by how many things you can use these pens on, and the different textures you can get on different materials. You can really play around and be creative with these pinter markers. Then lastly, I wanted to try these pens on a wood board. This isn't pure wood, but it has a smooth surface and I thought it would be nice to draw on. It is a little like toned paper. I haven't done a lot of fan art lately, so I wanted to draw Mario and Cappy from the new Mario Odyssey game. The lighter colors turns out a little streaky on the tone surface and needs a few more coats, but the mid-tone and the darker tones turns out so smooth and even and I love how it looks. So 
what is your favorite video game or game in general at the moment. I'm not really playing anything right now, but I need to finish Zelda A Link Between Worlds so that I can start on other games. It is weird sometimes that you play a whole game and then you just stop right before the last boss. Maybe I just don't want the game to end, I don't know, but is anyone else doing that? Anyway, I love how Mario and Cappy turned out and the colors look so smooth and vibrant and since the ink is so opaque you can layer them without any trouble. So there you have it, a couple of things that you can use the Pilot Pinter for, and I hope you got some tips and inspiration on how to decorate your sketchbooks and other stuff that you have laying around. Thank you so much for watching, and thanks Pilot Nordic for letting me try these pens and sponsoring this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats, bye!